Hi, this is Adam from MakerState, and in this video, I'm going to walk you through the Scratch Science Challenge Sunrise Sunset. In this challenge, we're going to create a simulation of the sun moving through our sky and show the changes in light in the sky as you know the, the, the Earth completes its rotation and the sun moves through our sky. Okay, so to get started, I'm going to delete my cat sprite from the stage and I'm going to go to new sprite and I'm going to load up a sun sprite which I can get to by scrolling down to the S's I know it's going to be right here in a moment here we go so there's my sun sprite I'm going to put that up in the sky and then I'm also going to create a sprite to represent the ground so I'm going to paint a new sprite and I'm going to create a green rectangle by clicking on the color green clicking on this filled version of this rectangle here and just drawing a nice big green rectangle like so and then positioning it on my stage so that it is covering the bottom of my stage. Let me just make that a little bit bigger so I make sure it's covering everything. Okay, perfect. So there's my sun, there's my ground. Okay. Um, first thing I'm going to do now is program my sun to move around the stage in a circle and then we'll worry about programming the backdrops in a little while. Okay. So I'm going to write a script that makes my sun start here and then just rotate, or not really rotate, but just move in a circle around my stage, okay? So I'm gonna start with a when green flag clicked, no, whoops, when green flag clicked, I'm going to set the starting position of my sun and let's just set it to something kind of nice and even like zero and 130. How does that look? Okay, so perfect, there's zero, 130. Um, I'm gonna point my sun so that it moves to the left, so that it goes this way, so that it can kind of create this rising in the east and setting in the west sort of effect. So I'm gonna use a point in direction negative 90, and you'll see why we use this in a moment, but point in direction negative 90, it's gonna point it to the left. And now what I'm gonna do is create a loop where I'm going to constantly, forever, I should say, I'm gonna forever, whoops, come on, um, move my son a few steps forward and turn it maybe just one degree each time. So let's bring these numbers down to three and one, okay? And if we run this, there goes my sun rotating around the world. And you know, this turning looks a little bit awkward, so I'm actually gonna also add this set rotation style block up here. But I'm gonna make the set rotation style don't rotate. So now the sun will just move but will not rotate, okay? And we're using point and direction left to get it moving in this counterclockwise motion. Okay, so, so far we have our sun moving around the stage. One thing I'm gonna do is write a small script here for the ground that just tells it to go to front when green flag clicked. Let's make this all a little bit bigger so you can see. So when green flag clicked, we're going to go to front. Perfect. And now if we run this one more time, the sun will go behind the ground. Great. Now we need to start worrying about some backdrops. Let's just stop this for a moment. So we want to create several different backdrops to kind of show the different phases of the sun during the day. I'm going to do this using the paint tool next to new backdrop. Let's just start with some really easy ones. I'm going to do just a nice light blue to be my, my day. And I'm going to, I'm going to label these as I do them. So I'm going to call this day. And then if we do one for night, it might just be black or very dark. Let's even go all the way black for this one. Okay, so we have day and we have night. And now let's add a few more in between, okay? Let's add some sort of sunset. And one way we can do this is by picking two colors and then using one of these blend options to switch between them. So let's do one with kind of like an orange and a blue like that. Yeah, maybe a little bit darker blue like so. And now if I fill this in, we have this nice sort of dusky feeling one. So let's call this dusk. And let's just add a few more combinations here. We can kind of order them in the right order afterwards. But so there's dusk. Let's do one that's maybe a little bit closer to night than that, where we'll do maybe a purple.
purple and a red of some sort like this this would probably be flipped like that so you can shade that in that's a nice one i'll call this dusk two and if we were to order these i'd put this one in between dusk and night and then let's do another one that's maybe in between dusk and day which we can do kind of like a yellow and a light blue and shade that in that's nice this can go right up here and so we're kind of creating this little cycle here of different different you know backdrop colors right and we're going to put them in order to represent how the sky changes throughout the day let's just do one more and then we can get to programming them okay let's do one that goes in between this dusk and night over here so let's add one more and i'm just going to shade it kind of like a dark blue up here okay and let's put that in between dusk and night like so so now we go from day to our dusk or sorry day to kind of this in between to dusk to night we'll call this night two and then finally this fully pitch black night okay so now what we need to do is change our program so that these um set these backdrops switch throughout the day well given that we're starting at the top of the stage let's just say that we're going to start with backdrop day no matter what okay so if we start from there we start with our backdrop day and now we need this thing to start switching okay um now there's a, a lot of different ways that we could do this how i'm going to do this is i want to divide up this whole circle into you know, I want to, you know, if our sun's moving in one big circle, I want to divide this circle up so that each of our backdrops gets kind of an even slice of the pie, okay? And when I say we're going to divide it up, that's actually a hint that we're going to use this division tool from operators, okay? And I'm going to go back to my backdrops, actually, and do one more thing quickly. And that is to duplicate them such that we complete the cycle back today after we do night. So to do that, I'm gonna grab my duplicate tool and just go from the bottom to top and duplicate each of these one time, like so. So that if we line them all up in an order, we'll go from day to night and then back to day. So I'm using the stamp tool here on top of the stage to duplicate these. So now I have 12 total backdrops and it's important to note that I have 12 total backdrops because when I was talking before about dividing up this circle, we need to know how many pieces we're going to divide it up into. Okay. So back to our scripts, we know that this whole circle is 360 degrees, right? That's the full, the full cycle that our, our, our sun's going to move here. We're moving one degree for each, for each step we take. And what I want to do is divide up these 360 degrees into as many pieces as we have backdrops. And we have 12 backdrops, okay? Now I'm going to use a repeat until loop. Sorry, just a normal repeat loop, excuse me. We're going to use just a repeat loop to repeat this small section of code in chunks and then switch the backdrop every time we do a certain chunk. So right now I'm dividing our whole circle into 12 pieces. I'm going to put this repeat inside our forever loop and now I'm just going to add a next costume block switch cost or sorry a next backdrop block switch backdrop to next backdrop and now if we run this we should start with day and just move through all of our different backdrops until we get back to day Look at that, and it's working. Um, one more thing I'm going to do is add a little bit of a wait time here in uh, in this repeat loop. And one second's a lot. I'm going to add 0.1 seconds. Let's start this again and just see how that changes things. Okay, so now we're taking 0.1 second between every three steps and one degree turned. Okay, and we're going to cover, we're going to do this section of movements. If we 360 divided by 12 should give us 30. So we're going to do this movement 30 times and then switch our backdrop every 30 steps we take. Okay. And 
this is actually going to be the entire program for this for this challenge. So I hope you understand how I've gone about constructing this loop over here and how I'm using this division block here to divide up my son's circular path into 12 even 12 even slices. OK, so again, we're repeating this movement kind of in 30 step chunks and switching our backdrop after each 30 steps. And then we can adjust this wait time to change how long our son takes to complete a cycle. So this is 0.1 seconds between every step. If we go 0.01 seconds, my computer's upset because I'm recording this video while this program's running. But you can see if I change that to 0.01 seconds, we go a little bit faster. And if I just make this zero seconds, we go quite a bit faster. Okay, so that's going to do it for, for programming this video. Once you have this kind of system created over here, you can use this as a backdrop for your other projects, or you can try to add some other sprites to this game that you know will react to the different parts of the day. Uh, maybe they'll have some dialogue or some costume changes depending on what time of the day it is. Uh, we could also try to add other elements to the sky, like stars or the moon, or you could try to have shadows on the screen that are affected by the sun's position. So these are all, all fun challenges you can do to take this further, but we're going to leave this here. So I, I hope you enjoyed this Scratch Science tutorial, and I hope you come back for the next one. Thanks for watching.